Greetings, friends. Boy, does it feel good to be back on my feet. To feel like my feet are strong and sturdy underneath me. To feel like my energy has regained. And uh, my strength overall, for the most part, is coming back. But I'm still being careful and cautious because I want to fully heal to be fully able to get back to the things that I need to do. I've been following the post-surgery protocols uh, almost to the T, except for the fact with the, uh, the pain medicines. Um, on the first three days or so I was on them but I was able to start cutting back with well, actually within day two and that wasn't my goal of mine because I don't want to be stuck on any medications if I can help it so with the use of some homeopathic remedies as well as uh, some CBD oil it was able I was able to cut out those medicines really quick and actually to the point where I haven't used them in a couple days now I don't feel like I need them anymore and that is good because Ultimately, I don't want to be masking symptoms. You don't want to mask symptoms. You want your body to heal and do what the body is capable of doing. Like Wim Hof says, I really like that quote of his. So I've been doing that. And uh, it's not a competition. I'm, I haven't tried to, I know somebody made a comment about questioning my toughness and recovery. Uh, and uh, I, I want to be smart. It's one thing, you, you want to be tough and do what you can, but you don't want to be stupid. I don't want to be stupid, I want to be smart. And it's, it's, uh, there's a balance there between, between being tough and, 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 and handling things the right way. Finding that, that balance of, of not being stupid with, with also being smart and handling your healing, uh, I think that takes wisdom. So hopefully I'm exercising, have been exercising wisdom with what I've been doing. Uh, and it's, it's hard to believe that today marks the day a week ago that I came back home and as I've been recovering from surgery, the pain from this recovery period is nothing like the pain that I was in for my gallbladder. That was a whole nother, whole le another level of pain that I preferred not to deal with again. But there was only one time that I had a lot of pain from post recovery and that was when I went to go lay down it was the first day first full day after surgery i had been walking around maybe walking around a little bit too much but i wanted to make sure that it got each day that i was able to walk a little bit more and, and kind of get my feet back and under me uh the only times that i had real pain post-surgery was the first night i went to go lay down and i sat down and it was like i almost felt like it was like one of those cartoon characters like oh! it was just oh it was whoo it was that was some pain but uh, thankfully, once I was able to figure out how to lay down and get up, I didn't have that pain again. So thankfully that's gone. And really since then, I've just been getting stronger and the, uh, the pain and the soreness has kind of just gone away more and more each day. So it feels good because uh, it feels good to be at this place because before the surgery, uh, I didn't mention this before, but I had over 10 gallbladder attacks within like a two and a half month period and uh, each one varying with severity but i could see how people would go to the hospital with each attack because they can be they can be really really tough and uh but uh we're through that and uh, i've been doing what i need to do post-surgery because i did not and i do not want to go back to the hospital the last place i want to go i want to be good i want to be in among the land of the living and doing the things around here that i need to do uh, and I really, really appreciate those of you who had comments for me. It has been refreshing and comforting to hear of those of you who have gone through the gallbladder issue and surgery as well. Uh, to, to know that I'm, I'm not alone in dealing with what I had to deal with. And those of you who have uh, extensive health background and knowledge as well. To know that even you had to deal with it like I did as well. Uh, that, that helped. It really helps a lot and uh, but at the same time it's kind of been alarming to see how many of you out there all uh, people in general have gallbladder removal surgery and uh, I confess some of the things that I felt that I did wrong leading up to my gallbladder issues in the, in the video that I did a couple videos ago about the surgery however I think it is more to that than just the fatty diet or or times of eating too much so-called fatty or fried foods. The more I've been researching about the gallbladder and, and, and really seeing what it does, that it yes, it's, its primary job is to help with the absorption of fat, but also things like too many hormones, too many toxins, too many heavy metals, 
too much stress can really have a huge negative impact on the gallbladder. So um, I'm really gonna dig deeper and, and seeing what other changes, because just because the gallbladder is removed, that doesn't mean that everything's in the clear, that we're, you're not, we need to be examining, and I need to be examining why I had to have it, or why I was having issues to begin with. So I plan to be testing our water here on the homestead and making sure there's no heavy metals in our water. Uh, and, and getting a Berkey filter as well, as well as making some other changes to really kind of seek and knock and see see why. I really want to know why, so that way if I can kind of nar narrow it down and learn from what I went through, hopefully those lessons I can help instill to my family and to others so that way we can grow and we can all learn and so that way no one else has to grow through what I went through. Well, I actually feel like I'm gonna do something today get something done because somebody did call me a wuss in the comments be before so gotta show gotta actually do something so people aren't out there thinking that I'm a wuss so uh, let's go do something today and I say do something today like I haven't been doing anything actually each day that I've been recovering I've been actually trying to do a little bit more each day uh, mainly it's been stuff in the house but I think if days, the days have gone, I've been trying to do a little bit more outside too as Lacey and the kids are doing the chores to try to help out a little bit more each time and, and not just be a supervisor or a micromanager, but uh, I'm also trying to, to help uh, and, and just keep things progressing on here, even though we, around here, even though we don't have much going on today. All right, so my task for today is we need to get this poultry netting here set up for our young pullet layers uh, that will hopefully be laying in the spring so we had our meat ducks and some of our meat chickens in this area and they really just good, did a good job of just eating grass down here and uh, once I get where I can feel like I can lift some weights again I'll be able to start setting up this raised bed here like we had have set up here in the past so Look forward to working on that project but first I just need to take this fence up and then uh, set it up somewhere else all right we got our fence here I had just a little bit of trouble pulling it out from the side of the ch chicken tractor there actually has a rose bush with thorns in it but we got it out and uh, not supposed to lift over 20 pounds right now um, and I'm trying to follow that instruction I don't think that this is 20 pounds but uh, it might be like 15 or 18 or so <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna carry it over and uh, set it up in our new area okay so the netting is mostly set up Still have a few tweaks here and there to make. And Micah and Sailor came and helped me out along the way. Uh, but I'm gonna need a hand in moving some of these logs out of the way here. So it won't be coming into contact with our fence and we can set it up a little better. So I'm gonna have to ask Lacey for help on that. And let me tell you, this has been humbling of asking for help situations like this. It was humbling before realizing during our homestead journey that there's times where hey i just need help it's humbling to admit that you need help but we need to be humble we need to have that characteristic and uh this has pushed me to humbled me even more so i feel i have a little bit more humility here so um not about being a tough man so uh, let's see if lace will give me a hand and see if we can keep moving forward all right you got a minute yeah, what you need? It's supposed to be two weeks after my surgery until I'm supposed to be able to lift anything around 20 pounds, right? So at least two weeks. At least two weeks. We're, we're following instructions. So I need you to move a couple logs for me that are probably at that weight and exceeding. So if you could help me out, that would be great. Okay. As humbling as that is to admit that I need help moving something 20, 25 pounds. <laughs> I would rather do it than you bust some, you didn't even have stitches, bust your glue. 
bust my glue. <laughs> Don't want to bust my glue <laughs> or anything else for that matter. <laughs> no. No hernias or anything like that are needed right now. So you can see there's just a couple that are in the way of the fence there for me. Tighten it up so if you yeah. can kind of move those out of the way, that would be great. Okay. If you can help me out with one more thing, I actually want to see how you want to do it. We'll need Sailor's help too, and probably Micah. So next, we're going to move the pullet into here, so we can either drag, pull their chicken tractor way over here, or we can put the other chicken tractor that I was near this fence inside of here, and then transport them in the crates and just just put them in there, and clip their wings as they go, because we got to clip their wings too. So, well, which way do you want to do it? Let's get that other chicken tractor and put it in here because I feel like it's more secure than that. And they can get in it easier, I think, that one than that one. All right, so we'll use the other chicken tractor that uh, was with this fence. Alrighty, we got it. Actually, you got it. I just did a little bit. It felt good to do something. I couldn't just stand there and do nothing. Thank you for moving it over. You're welcome. After we moved the fence and the chicken tractor, next came time to move the chickens. This is a black one near your foot. It's fine. I already have one. Again. As we're cutting the feathers here, we're just cutting the primary flight feathers there. And we do that because just cutting one of their wings kind of gets them off balance as they're trying to fly. So it keeps them from flying out of the fence we're going to be putting them in. It actually doesn't hurt them at all. It's like cutting your fingernails or something. But chicken nails. <laughs> Not too long ago, we got these blue crates here from Stromberg's, and they have come in handy so much on our homestead. With these chickens here, we have a couple of different breeds that we plan to reproduce from. And with each breed, we have six females and two males. So after we finish moving the chickens into their new area with their new setup, it's always so nice to see the animals enjoying a new area. It's also neat to think about the future generations that may come from these chickens. So yay, I was able to do something today. Felt really good to be hands-on back on the homestead again. 
it's been a week now and it was like I was getting antsy of really wanting to do something so it really felt, felt good to get something done today even if it was just a small task of moving those chickens into a new area it felt really good to do so and even though I needed a little bit of help here and there it was really great to be able to to be outside and, and try to st gradually start getting back in the groove so after we moved the chickens we did a number of other things around the homestead as well as um, looking around and, and, and since I hadn't been out there extensively in a while it's almost like I was looking at things with a new pair of eyes and there were so many things jumping out at me that I want to do and I'm like oh that needs to be done but uh, just hold on hold my horses so um, we'll get to it gradually uh, I felt like I was able to move around for pretty well the only thing that I felt some slight pain in was when I would bend over or if I would hunch and squat down, that's the only time I felt just like a little bit of discomfort. I would say for the most part, I feel like the pain is 90, 95% gone. And so I'm feeling good. So hopefully they continue to make progress. And I don't think that I overdid it today. I maybe walked the line just a little bit a couple of times, especially when I was helping Josiah with putting some mulch into the, uh, the other chickens, their area. So um, we'll just continue to watch it be careful and try to be smart with things so not competing with anybody um, but yeah so after we did that and uh, one of the things that I noticed is just walking around the homestead is um, the kids have been doing a great job Lacey has as well but uh, one of the things that I've noticed is just um, it's kind of like when the boss is not around sometimes things tend to slip that wouldn't slip when the boss is around and everyone's on their a game so um i've just noticed a few things here and there with the kids so we're going to try to tidy those things up so that's just me everybody needs to have somebody in the lead role to kind of set the pace so um not that i do everything perfect but you just we just all have our own ways and we're overseeing and looking things and how we want them to do so hopefully we can continue to improve as we continue to move forward and I can be more hands-on and uh, right outside there with them and uh, after we finish today's project Sailor did an excellent job of making dinner tonight it's taco Tuesday and it's one of those days that she she really does a good job on and she made tacos for us and it's really nice to eat some meat uh, when I was having the issues before the surgery, I, I was having so much just flare up, just a just a just a bite or two of meat were was just kind of just sending me into to gallbladder pain. So it felt really, it's been really nice to be able to eat meat and and some fat again. And I actually feel like my body is absorbing fat better now than it was before the surgery. So hopefully I can continue to to make progress with that because I know I'm don't need to overdo the fat but also our bodies need needs fat. So, um, uh, and maybe if I need to, I can start having like a bile acid supplement or some digestive enzymes or something like that, but uh, to supplement with, but definitely wanna make sure it's very important that we all get our fats, the good fats in in our, in our diet. So hopefully I can continue to do that and continue to work on and improve in our health in various ways. And uh, there's some other things that I wanna do as well, but we'll just have to keep, um, keep learning keep growing and, and in various ways with with things that we're doing on the homestead as well as what we're doing with our health as well well time to call it a day can't wait to get back to it get back in the full swing of things but we're just going to take it day by day that's it for now see you next time